a public affairs analyst and Synagogue Church of All Nations, SCON, member, Mr. Dear Adejimo, criticized the BBC documentary on the late Temito Babatunde Joshua, also known as T.B. Joshua, founder of SCON, on Tuesday. Adejimo dismissed the documentary as baseless, pointing out that the individuals interviewed in the report were unknown to the church. In contrast, a former disciple, Paul Agamo, who spoke to the BBC, insisted that the allegations were true. Agamo claimed to have gone into hiding for eight years due to threats on his life after speaking out. The BBC reported that at least 25 individuals provided eyewitness accounts of alleged sexual assault, physical abuse, faked miracles, and trauma suffered at the hands of T.B. Joshua. However, Adejimo, in a personally signed statement, dismissed the BBC report, accusing the media house of resorting to fictional narratives and propaganda. Adejimo stated, BBC has compromised these lofty principles by descending into fictional narratives and propaganda, thus turning itself into a weapon for a hatchet job as gangsters in the gap of journalism with a destructive ulterior motive for personal gains against the perceived enemy. He further criticized the BBC's deviation from true journalism, accusing it of providing offensive and disenchanted reports from disgruntled elements. Adejimo asserted that the BBC's attempt to tarnish T.B. Joshua's legacy would not diminish the indelible impact of his work. Adejimo questioned the BBC's credibility, stating, some of those identified there are relics of homosexual and lesbian associates. My findings further show that everything the BBC put together is strange to SEON. He found the BBC's assertion that T.B. Joshua was involved in abuse for over two decades to be illogical, given the legal framework in Nigeria. Adejimo also questioned the BBC's perception of Nigeria and expressed gratitude that the report cleared T.B. Joshua was only wife of any wrongdoing. In contrast, a former disciple, Agamo, recounted his experience and thanked the BBC for shedding light on the issues. Agamo claimed to be the first prophet under SCON and detailed his decision to leave the church due to a traumatic experience. He revealed that he faced persecution for speaking out against T.B. Joshua, leading him to live in hiding for eight years. T.B. Joshua, one of Africa's influential religious leaders and wealthiest pastors, gained fame for his miracles at SCON. The 12-story building in the Ikerton area of Lagos State housed both Joshua and his followers. Despite the controversy surrounding the BBC documentary, the impact of T.B. Joshua's work remains significant. <laughs>